Hallelujah. Why don't you put your hands together and give God some praise? Amen. Amen. So my message title is Root Cause. Let me tell you something. In this life, eh, there are two battles every man fights. Two battles, whether you are a Christian or not. There are two battles. The first battle is a spiritual battle. And the second battle is a physical battle. The spiritual battle is where you encounter attacks, projections from the pit of hell that affect you spiritually, affect your spirit man, affect everything around you, but you cannot lay your finger on it physically to know what is actually happening. Unless you have a spiritual understanding to know that this thing happening to me is, in the, is happening in the realms of the spirit. Am I making sense to somebody here? So, there are certain battles we fight. Some spiritual attack in the area of sickness. Finance, your finances become bazaar. Let, them, let us give you, let somebody give you 10 billion today. By tomorrow, it will go off. You will not know what to use the money for. So, these are spiritual things we encounter. Now, the physical battles has to do with the battles of life in terms of the fact that you yourself, things that you do, fight you. You, you, you commit yourself against the laws of life and then those laws fight you. I hope you are getting me. For instance, you go and, and, and fight with somebody who, let me say on this side, is powerful with links and all that. It gets you arrested, you jump into problems. This is not spiritual. This is physical battles. You take money, you invest into a business and the thing go bazaar and the person you are, who is a partner start fighting you. This is a physical fight. It's a, it's a battle. So physical fights are fights that we, we, can, we can see it manifesting by actions or, or, or by, by reactions. Amen? Amen. So, so these are the two main battles man face. But as a Christian, yours is worse because the, the, the kingdom you have accepted to join, the spiritual con battle you fight is heavy. That when it is lifted from you and it is placed on the normal and natural man's head, can kill the natural man. So what I'm trying to say is that even with us, our spiritual battle has been subsidized by the blood Christ shed for us. Amen? Amen? So there are things that we encounter until you come to re a realization that no, this is a spiritual battle and I have to tackle you spiritually. You will see yourself, I mean, operating in life but you are not making meaning of your life. And that is why my message is root cause. We will trace certain things in the Bible and you will know what happened. What happened to Judah and followed their children. You will know what happened in the Bible. Things that happened. And in your life, it is happening. But you have not taken, I mean, a record of that. It's very, very important. I don't stand there to say I'm a prophet or I'm a spiritual person. So I go to bed. Finish preaching, eat, go to bed. No. I understand and I know where I'm coming from. Many of us, the reason why we are not making impact in life, the reason why we are not moving forward in life is as a result of our root cause. Where we are coming from. And I'll prove it to you in the Bible. Romans 11. I want a uh, new life application. If you don't have it, that's why I carried my mine here. So we'll read it. If you don't have it, then I can read my Romans chapter 11 from verse 16. And this scripture talks about the family. It talks about root cause. The family. Amen? Are you here? In as much as you can resemble your mother or your father, it tells where you are coming from. In every tradition and custom, you will be able to identify which group of people belong to this tradition by their their culture, by their way, the, the way they live, by the things they do, you are able to, and by their language, you are able to tell that this is from Krobo, this is a Krobo person, this is an ever person, this is it. That aspect you can know, everything. Is that not it? The same thing applies to, to spiritual things. So, I didn't say New Living Translation. Let me read the life application. And I brought my study, one of my study Bibles. This has been a very long study Bible. 
I rush quickly to put it back on the pulpit so you know see. This Bible is 18 years old. I have a lot of them. New Living Trans Romans 11 verse 16. Romans 11 the verse 16. And he said, and since Abraham, and please I want you to take note of that. Since Abraham and the other patriarchs were holy. Take note of it. Since Abraham and the other patriarchs were holy, their descendants will also be their descendants will also be is in your Bible? Good. Just as the entire batch of dove is holy because the portion given as an offering is holy. For it is for if the root of a tree are holy, the branches will be holy too. I want this question. I want this first. He said, since Abraham and his descendant. So he's telling you about family roots. Is that not it? Are you, are you in church? He's talking about what? The root of a family. He says, since Abraham and the other preachers are holy, their descendants will be holy. Now, what he's trying to tell you here is that if you are born from a, a family of pastors, there will be pastors in the family. If you are born from a family of rich men, there will be rich men. If you are born from a family of prayer, their food will be prayer. Their drink will be prayer. Everything is prayer. And he, he, he went on to say, if the root of a tree is holy, the branches will be King James Version. King James Version. King James Version. Now, what he's trying to tell you here is that some of us, the way you look, the way you do things can be traced to your father or mother. Is somebody in church? Can be traced to who? Your father or your mother. Is it the way you walk? That you throw your hands free? That is how your father threw his hands free. The way you walk and you treat yourself, that is how your mother. But let's read. Then I'll get time. Within this same time I'll be given to preach. He said, if the first fruit be holy, the lamp is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. Verse 17. Run with me, please. Verse 17. I'm reading to verse 20. And if some of the branches were, were be broken off, and thou or you, being a wild olive tree, were grafted in from among them, and with them partaketh of the root and the fatness of the olive tree. Move on. Boast not. Somebody say boast not. Boast oh, I'm not Christian. You only yes to know I'm free. No, no, you didn't give back to your mother. Do you give back to your mother? Do you give back to your father? Stay with me. Boast not against the branches, for thou, if thou boast. That buried not the root. In that way, you didn't give birth to your mother. You gave birth to your father. But the root did. They gave birth to you. Verse 19. Thou shalt say then, and even if they gave birth to me, the branches were broken off that I may be grafted. Mm -hmm. you. Verse 20. We will continue from verse 20 down. down. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. How many of us came from a family that are strong believers? You can count the people. Some of them, the wickedness in your family. You say, oh, me, by God's grace, I'm a Christian. No, they can't kill me. Stay there. Oh, as for my family, they pray, power, stay there. He said, you, you'll be arrogant. You will say, hey, but we will continue. You see it. And the Bible responded to the person saying this. That because of unbelief, oh, don't you have aunties and uncles who are not correct, who are normal, some are not correct. Some are normal. They are correct when they are good, but they are killed. No, no. Are they not killed? And so, 
they, they, they are dead, but me, I can't die. Stay there. I'm not, I'm not prophesying doom. I'm not telling you you will die. You will understand my message. He said, because of unbelief, they were broken off. They didn't believe in the Jesus you believe in. They didn't give their life to Christ. Now you join friends to go and pray in the bush. They didn't do that. So they were killed. So your small, small prayer is what helped you to be alive. But even though you are alive, the Bible says you don't bear the root, but the root bear you. So in other words, you belong to a family. And so far as there is a covenant in the family that your forefathers couldn't pay for their sacrifices and others are being killed because they are foolish living in the family. They have no vision. They have nothing. They kill them rough. But you, somebody led you to Christ. Somebody connected you to a church. And through prayer, you have been preserved. Until you deal with the root, don't think you are secured. They are broken off and that standard by that standard by no, read it, read it. Ready, go. It said what? From beginning. It said when? Ready, go. When? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You stand about what? Now, you are in church. Some are not in church. They are eating for food in your family. So, when the attack comes, they will be hit first. But you, because you stand by faith. Standing by faith means that you are believing that Christ, you are, you are serving. That's why you are in church. So, let the prayer that will come preserve you. So, if they die in January, they are sure they are arrow for you in December. So, your consistent prayer, your standing in the faith, is what will keep you alive. Oh. Because it said, you, you are standing by faith. Are you here? It said, you stand by what? Faith. Why do you stand by faith? Today you are tired, but you want to come to church. So you dress and came to church. Is that not it? You, but you look tired in your body, but you are in church. Now, do you know what this is doing for you? You have run under the covering or the protection of God. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high. So, day and day, the reason why you are not killed is because every Sunday, you come to dwell under a covering. So, this week, one will drop dead, but you will still be alive. Why? Because you have come into a covering. Are you here? So, you are standing by faith. But he said, be highly minded or be high minded. I don't want to say, don't be arrogant, but fear. Are you hearing me? He said, what? Be not high-minded. In other words, don't be arrogant. Don't, don't, don't be high-minded. In other words, oh, she ain't me. But rather what? Rather what? Rather what? Rather what? How do you fear? This is a Greek word. It has a Hebrew context. How do you fear? The word fear here is not the kind of word. Hey, literally it means fear. But what he's telling you, he's telling you something. Now, what he's telling you here, but rather fear, he's telling you that be sensitive of the things that is happening and killing people and stand in prayer. That is the only way. Fear, literally means fear. But the interpretation of this word means that instead of you, rabba, 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 come to Friday prayer meeting. Move on. He said, for if God spared not the natural branches, if God not, didn't spare those uncles and aunties of yours, if God didn't spare those natural branches, take heed, least you also, he also spare not thee. In that way, he will not spare you. Oh, have you seen covenant, covenant running in the family that people are dying, Christians are dying? Eh? Your auntie that wear white right every Sunday to Methodist is dead. Your people that you think they should, no, no, this one, they are dead. He said, don't boast. Now, let's come. He said, if the root is holy. Look at an almond tree above Fungati. Almond tree. If you plant it in a rugged place, a, rock, a rocky place, a very basa basa place, it will grow. But see the fruit. Basa 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 basa. Some of us, when you see some of your cousins and all that, he said, if your father is holy, definitely the children will come alive. If the root is holy, the branches, the branches represent your family. Then some of us, you say it in testimony. Hey, baby, I'm free now. Yezi, baby, I'm free now. Please, it is not yezi. Baby, I'm free now. I've been phoning because I forgot. What papa? They kill people every day. In your family, drunkards are there. So when you see a man who is a drunkard, by all means, his children, one will be a drunkard. If you see a quick temper father, mother, eh? Their children will have it. When your mother or your father easily pull knife to dagger you or dagger children or when he's in a kumaba unless he sees blood by all means some of the children will pick after him. 
If you see a mother who is a, 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 a manizer, <laughs> it means man, manizing, following men. You see a woman, a man or father who is a womanizer. This is who near a or dear chair. You will see the traces in your life. So here the Bible is saying, because Abraham huh, and as if for they were holy, their descendants will also be holy. I've seen a pastor who didn't fight certain battles. The grandfather was a pastor. The father was a pastor. He was a pastor. The same thing that launched the grandfather, launched him, launched, launched the father and kicked him out. The same spirit. Some of you, your, parents, your father has married four women. As you are sitting now, you are married two. Even that two is not a conditional, it's not a correct one. You have given birth with two men. You are even looking for the four, third one, as I'm thinking now. The thing is telling you, mm, this one is fixed. This one is not working. This one will cook better food. I can tell you, you go number four very soon. Because it's in the blood. I will prove it to you. Genesis. Turn your Bible to Genesis. Am I making sense to you? Genesis 20 verse 1. We saw Abraham lying to Abimelech that Sarah is his sister. The same place he lied. His son Isaac came there and lied. He said, Genesis 20 verse 1. We are reading on to 17. It's 17, yes. Uh, we we'll read on to 16. Yeah. And Abraham journeyed from thence towards the south country and dwelt between Kadesh and Shaw. And so journeyed in Gerah. Move on. And Abraham said to of Sarah, and Abraham said of Sarah, his wife, She is mine. She is mine. And Abimelech, king of Gerah, said and took Sarah. Oh, it's your sister. She's the beautiful. Why? Because Sarah was beautiful. At that time, I was in the prime age. Very beautiful. I said, she is my sister. Verse, but God came to Abimelech in the dream. I know they save you, no. I know they save you, no. Theologians are, that me, I say, I have a position. I did apologetics. I had B plus. I fought with my lecturer because I know I should do better. I stood, I mean, apologetics. We argued this for a whole semester. It's a, it's a holy lie. God accounted it's a holy lie. I say lie is a lie. It is mercy and grace and covenant. It is covenant that I spoke for Abraham here. Because of his covenant with God. When you have a covenant with God, there are certain sins God will rebuke others. But Because the kind of sacrifices you have performed is higher than those people who think you should be condemned. Otherwise, David should not be the man after God. David. Ah! <laughs> mind. But God said, I mean, God is, people think God was selfish there. Yes, in apologetics, we say, by natural mercy, we put mercy there. Salah, we put mercy, we remove Salah, we put mercy. By mercy, God was, by mercy, it means God should have mercy on me, but I'm saying the truth. By mercy, God was too, too selfish there. Because, Obia was not lying. Out to a point that all the, I mean, the wives, he go, he, he, he moved into another man's uh, you know, and God says, after my, it's by covenant too. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and co, Enoch and co, they walk with God by covenant. So the things that they will do, that will not kill him. If you try, you will be, in fact, you, you will be burned to ashes. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said to him, behold, thou art but a dead man. If the woman which thou hast taken, for she is what? A man's wife. In other words, say, you are a dead man if you touch Sarah. You are a dead man. This is somebody's wife. You are a dead man. Ah, but you are lying, says your sister. Now, look, look at what happened. Verse 4. But Abimelech had not come near her. And he said, Lord, will thou slay also a righteous nation? Verse 5. Quickly. Said he not unto me, she is my sister. He said, Said he not unto me, she's my sister. In other words, didn't he tell me she's my sister? Hey, I said, right, he said, it's his sister. And he's my brother. In the integrity of my heart and innocence of my hands, have I done this? Move on. No, the story is from the verse one. It's okay. So you saw it. Is that not it? He lied that Sarah is his sister. 
Huh? Sister. Me, I go lie say my wife is my sister. In fact, I will tell you the truth and give you condition why you can't come near her. Yes. You know, your next, your wife has to be protected. Fight. You are a handsome man. So, I hope you are not fighting plenty of women around you. He is very handsome. Can't you see? Trinity is a very handsome man. Genesis 26, verse 1 to 7. The same place Abraham lied. Isaac lied. Some of you, your family, eh? your mother tells lies. Father. In fact, your father gave it to your mother by intimacy. <laughs> it's by impartation. Your father can lie huh, and build a house out of the lies. Your father can lie huh, and even the spirit of life will say, Chai! Hey! That the spirit of life, even we are afraid of your father. He's in the blood. Fake business by your father. Connection man. Con, con people for money. You grow also taking over your father's business. And you become a con man. Conny, conny. Body, body. Now, you have con people, huh? your life has become con. So in other words, your name is Benjamin Con. They've to add it to your name. What I dream what? Jacob Wagadri. In fact, Jacob was given birth by a Wagadri woman. Oh, you don't know? Yes. He said, I'll do Wagadri for you. So the Wagadri. Hazamada. Your own is this serious? Oh? Your own child from your womb. You can you can fake and tell the genuine one how you should go and kill an animal and use the smoothness of the this skin to look like your senior son. Yeah? Wagadri woman giving birth to Wagadri. In the roots, it's only go back to my scripture. The branches will be in the root is Wagadri. The branches will be if it is four one nine, the branches will be so so here we, we saw Jacob mother four one nine, is that not it? Get back to a four one nine person. The uncle was a four one nine man. The uncle. He ran from the brother, thinking that he's going for rescue. <laughs> from a 419 woman to a 419 uncle. Your father's head is like your head. Your head is like, head is like, head. Head is like the one following you. Everything. 419. So your father, out of the 419, is going to die. Then call you. Call you. That's African father. So when they call me, they are close to, closer to their grave. Only me be jam Then Four one nine. Bed in kwa. Kwadanda na titi. Kujo me ba be koi. Then you perform a drama there. That you koi. Unyangu ye. Me ba be koi fe chi mami. Then waja. Now, sass in the crowd, I see three bedrooms. No? Or we have your be home. Or the beating in the panel. So the person cursed him before he died. So the curse is there. I'm not putting fear in you for your information. Africa. Why else you were in your mother's womb? You started paying tax. So you started suffering for your mother's womb. The time you get, nah! they quoted your tax, your, 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 your account for you. Rolling time from 13,000. Now, in current government, you are paying like 47000 from your mother's womb. You say, how, how am I paying that? They said they have reduced it to 31000 So, who no one can say, yeah, baby, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, But in the Euro, in foreign world, in your mother's womb, the, the economy is paying you. By the time they give you, yeah, government is giving you money. What kind of country? So, you and your family, Wagadri, Jacob, you landed in the economy, Wagadri. So, why are you going from here? <laughs> Wagadri nation. If the root is holy, the branches will be holy. So, there are things happening to you. Please, I am here to tell you, it is not, some of the things is the root cause. The reason why you cannot move forward to the next level of your life is because God Bible has told you, you have not done anything about it. 
Genesis 26 verse 1 to 7 is in the blood. I curse every blood line curse. Anything that ran through the blood line that is negative, that is having influence on you today by prayer, we curse it in the name of Jesus. The fact that your father suffered doesn't mean you should suffer. Had blood pressure in the family. Your mother had that blood pressure. Your siblings had blood pressure. Yourself had blood pressure. At the age of 29, had blood pressure. Some at the age of 18 had blood pressure. Some diabetes, 16 year diabetes, 18 year diabetes. Your mother had it, your father had it, everybody is having it. Today, minus your life. Please, when I call you, come and pray, come and pray. It is not that I want my house to be full. Because if I am collecting the offering to my house, I'll be the champion. In fact, I'll drive to your house at early to put you here. But I am telling you, we are all helping ourselves by prayer. Come and pray. The things you are going through has a root in the family. Oh, my I'm in trouble. Haven't your father told you some that in this family will be right depending on channel? In your family, Obi Pejan Mupene are turning. See, ta. so when you buy a car, you have to hide the car and walk 20 meters. By the time you get to the family, I say, Oh, mommy, if you are now, then no other car, no one answer. I'm not to be a one. Any bay you for fighting your destiny by prayer, you will end your destiny today. There is a family as you try to write and you come to the line like to a certain level they cut you off. Young men are dying. I told you a story about a lady who is a medical daughter. The sister, the mother died at 45. The brother is 45. The sister died, she came direct after 45. So when she was 42, she carried her things that is going to give to, to uh, 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 me, wealth, social welfare. Came to me that she's giving her things to show and I should pray for her. I said, okay, come and lodge all your things. Give me your document. In fact, I want your house document first, your car document. Give me the money in the bank. And then the kick will go and leave it at your mother's side. Let's see whether you die. And I came into a call, an agreement with her. And I said, if you, if you die, praise God, I will obey your instruction. But if you don't die, go and look for another property. Don't come to my house. Say, Papa, it is true. It is true. He showed me. And it was true. But I have come to a point that because I saw where I'm coming from, I started dealing. Some of you didn't pray. You waited until 22 before you started praying about your marriage. Some of you waited 25 before you start searching about your family. They have given you even name. You don't understand the name. You are still bearing it. Breathful. I say you are not dying. I brought it. Kaba, Kaba, Kaba. 42, Kaba, 43, Kaba, 44, 40, 44 and a half. <laughs> 45! That, that month, she didn't go anywhere. Always lying at my altar. 45. 46! I said, Papa, let me wait. Oh. Maybe they are making... No, no, there are some of you believe that, oh, they are projecting, so maybe 45, you know, they will kill you. When you think you are happy, no, then they kill you. So, Papa, wait, 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 let me go further a little. Let me go further. When he turned 47, I said, don't, don't play nonsense with me. It's an agreement. You are not, I'm not allowing you to go further. I said, Papa, so you want me to die now? I said, no, you won't die. My friend, how, how many years did they die? He said, 45. How many, how old are you? He said, 48 years. I said, 48 years. And you want me to wait again. Please, don't come to my house for your document. The next Sunday, I saw her the auntie, the uncle, to come and beg me. I saw them carrying parcels. I'm pying those things. I said, hey, who is this one? Is he on top of what you are giving me or you are coming to replace? <laughs> that is the lie of the devil. I got to understand where I'm coming from and I started doing battle. I started praying because people will die quickly. Pressure. People will die quickly. I said, no. They said, no. It's not. Go and ask Archbishop. He will tell you. His family, marriages, he fought, 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 fought. Even at his level, he's still fighting. And then you, who chew chicken and uh, bones, you will snore like a, this, you won't pray. Five day, opportunity has given, you won't pray. You only carry Bible on Sunday, dress and put long earring, dress and wear trousers and pumping things and come and strong perfume. It will not save you. That thing will not save you. Look, look good. You are looking good anyway. But the only secret that will save you is prayer. Please, 
Don't allow the voices of your family to talk to you. Don't you know what they said? They don't close early. Hey, when you're under party, you don't look at your time. Oh. It is only Ghana. Go to Nigeria. They go to church and church close at 3 p.m. because they know all the week that's the time they are giving to Jesus. But here, we close 10. You are free. We close 10 15. And church starts on weekday, 6 30. You come here 7 45. So, if you come 7 45 because we all go to work, how many minutes have you prayed? And we have never left here 10 and 9 30 or 9 15. Or in the in Tuesday teachings, you have brought your quarter to 9. It's when after we have closed and you decide to talk to friends, it, you, you, it is 9 o'clock. For three Sundays, I've been closing early. But what I'm trying to tell you is that when you understand where you are coming from, any time an opportunity is given to be in the presence of God, you want to be there for some time. Please don't open this chapter and put it in your Bible. You are, you are mocking Jesus he, under your pillow. Psalm 91. That's your favorite scripture. You don't understand. Can we read for me? Can I get the whole church reading? I'm closing on that. I'll continue this message next time. Isaac, have you given the scripture? And there was a famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went on to Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Gera. Move on. The same place the, I, I mean the, the father went. Is that not it? And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt. Dwell in the land which I shall what, tell thee of. Move on. Verse 3. Sojourn to his land, then I will be there, and I will be with thee, and I will bless thee. For unto thee, and unto thy seed. I will give all these countries and I will perform the oath which I saw unto Abraham thy father. So you know it's Isaac's father is Abraham. You know it. Okay, verse 4. And I will make thee thy, I will make thy seed to multiply at the stars of the heaven and I will give unto thy seed all these countries, blah, blah, blah. Verse 5. It said, because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my child. Verse 6. And Isaac what dwell in God. verse seven. <laughs> so we all read. <laughs> Let's all read this one. Ready? Go. She is my what? Okay. She he feared to what? That is my what? Uh huh. Where, where from? Okay, read, 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 finish. They will kill him because of Rebecca. Why? Other versions say she was beautiful. The same place the father lied, he lied. The same lie the father told, he told the same lie. I, I like the way he said, I didn't know, I was more Ask me, when Isaac was studying, when Abraham was telling the lie, what was Isaac? The Bible didn't mention Isaac around. But exact lie. Ah, if your nose look at your mother's nose, where is it coming from? Where is it coming from? Who so many of us sitting here. What you are going through, check your background. You didn't even ask your parents. Some of you have never spoken to your parents about where you are coming from. It's a foolish question to ask, but it's a very genuine one spiritually. It's foolishness unto the flesh, but it is sensitive to the spirit. You've never asked your mother, so mama, where am I coming from? What happened? You gave it to what really? God, I'm seeing certain things in you that I'm, I mean, what, what is happening? What is happening? You've never. I told my father when I lost my mom, I said, that name you have put on me, where is it coming from? Tete, what's the meaning of Tete? It's always my name. It's your name. Who gave it to you, my father? Where is it coming from? I don't know. I said, from today, I am changing it. He gathered elders to come to my house. He said, please, what are you saying? You must have an identity. I said, I have Jesus' identity. He said, no, don't spiritualize, don't spiritualize everything because who free baby now by? And he said, so who for Papa Din? Mumu Papa Din or the Elembella Tipoti? Elembella Tipoti, you don't even know the name. I know somebody whose surname was Busun Kessie. Yes. Eh? Yeah, Busunkesi. Abraham Nanaya Busunkesi. Now send us over Busman will be our Yazi. 
Kabusumkese, the father thought he was giving the strongest deity to, as a name to their son to protect. Ah, have you seen the devil making something good before? Is it? Or a tito. But he's like a mumu. He's like a zombie. Or a bulubulu. He's like a bulubulu. So say, oh, eh, oh, bulubulu still. Now, who is that? Busumkese, you see? Yeah, me, I'm not going to do that. It's not going to do that. Listen to me until you rise in prayer. What is happening to you is from your, from your root. The way of mommy, oh, papa, shoo, mommy, as soon as you have grown and you have started developing that system, that thing. Why, why, if Kasa, no, Kasa cannot be, be, I know a gentleman, eh, Musa Musem, Musa Musemo, Musa Musem, Nakumaba. This is a son in Sem, hmm. Yeah, son in Sema. Your best Fabia, or do you show this is a what? Or cool, we are not in my band. Please, dressing nice mm -mm, is not enough. You marry social frustration, you marry social problem. Now, everybody will kill, they will take everybody. When it gets to your 10, they say, Go, who are you? Ah, they say, they Your name is Go, 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 go. They go around doing something, you do it alone. They arrest you. They arrested your father the same. In fact, they arrested your mother the same. How do you see your siblings? And you who, hey, who come for a champion in you? Single room self contained. But just say, who, who put now a champion where Bushram? Single room self contained. Two bedroom. You've rented it for 18 years. You are still there. Why? Because all your other siblings are in your mother's, your father's uh, two rooms that he left. They've poached it. They've made the building like Camellio. In fact, they've made the building like octopus. Small room. This one poke, extend the net, extend the roof like this and put one room. Marry family so that they stay there. This one will poke this way. So the thing is octopus. Father, at the age of 12 years, I'm leaving home. Wow. Yes. So, we are told no. Yes. I stopped deploying my parents at the age of 15. Not that I'm both, you know. Friend, look at me like they told the prophet. Go home. Don't you see your father will be taking. Go. Go. Leave him. He said, you don't know. They insulted me. I didn't have it in you. But God was preparing me for something great. Because if I look at where I'm coming from, you stay there, you die. Labadi is the hunchback of a spirit. Look at young people living in Labadi. You either pray your way out or you stay there and perish. I am living. I left. Stay with pastor friends. Stay with this pastor friend. Stay with this pastor friend. But for the fact that we wake up at night, Kapaya, Kapaya, 40 hours. I told you, I'm sorry. You drop, you buy food for us to break our fast. So we set the time, 14 hours. Kaba, kaba. Sometimes somebody can cook and we say no. We will pray. The one who will win will eat the food. Yes. So sometimes when I see I'm falling, you know John Eh? Where you are coming from? You have no eating this money. So when you pray and you know you are dying of, then you will chalk the one who is serious. It's all you transfer, transfer. So by the time you realize we have finished the fast, everybody will get food. So we, if you see me standing today, to me until if you come near, you die quick. Yes. I will survive anywhere you pray. Put Gary somewhere, put sugar, and ask me to survive on for three months. You go and come, and I've, I've left some of the Gary for you. I didn't just get and start eating fries and chicken. I, I, I ate that food by faith one day. I said, I'm not going back again. That food will be given to you Christmas. And the best you can choose is a coconut nine. Out there, you small boy, eat a coconut. Night. Yes. Yes. What I'm telling you today, go into your family and pray. You must go. Certain things are happening in your life. Trace it from your background. You know it's there. He said, if the root is holy, the branches will. I'll continue next time. I'll continue next time. Rise up on your feet. Hmm. You know Judah in Genesis 38. Judah. I call her Bonnie. He wanted, his wife is gone. He wanted a woman. And the son's daughter, who has gotten married to all the sons, and the sons are dead. 
He said, how can I lose my inheritance? Dressed like a prostitute and went and sat at the entrance. This is a king of the house. It's like a, a, a bushampin with his scepter. A woman can carry authority away because of sex. He fired. He said, he thought, oh, oh, hey. He fired. But when he was fired, foolishly, now he was in the higher realm. The element was so high. So, he, he, and the woman took his scepter, removed his jacket, his wrapper, his wrapper, and took it away. How can you finish and not even know that? No, 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 He has entered some realm. He has no, no, he has forgotten that he is an authority of the town and his scepter has been carried away. He went home just to realize that he's not carrying the scepter. The next day, he said, Who has done this to my daughter in law? She's a prostitute. She started insulting her. And they say, The one that I carry his scepter, when they show the scepter, open an eye. Say, open an eye. Say, open an eye. She couldn't talk more. The same thing happened to his son. His son slept with. Master, coming down to David. That's why David can't lock his hip. Yes. David can't lock his hip. Yes. Hmm. Lift up your hands.